Welcome to the Viper Video Trainer for Scoring and Purse Management. If you are scoring an event or setting up any kind of a purse payout structure, all of the functionality is managed from the scores icon. When you select the scores icon, the score entry screen will open with the default scoring method selected on the program defaults. There are three types of scoring that can be done in Viper. One is total scores, where you would just enter in a total score and whatever the handicap is, the program will automatically calculate the net score. And if you noticed, uh, the scorer is hidden once scores are entered. So uh, by default, hide scored teams is checked to hide the scored teams so that it's easier to find uh, teams that have not yet been scored. The second type of score entry is team hole by hole, where you were entering a single score per hole for each team. In team hole by hole scoring, if the event is handicapped, you would typically develop a team handicap, uh, such as 20% of the A player's handicap, 15% of the B player's handicap, and so on, to come up with a team handicap. In this case, we've uh, used that formula of 20, 15, 10, and 5 percent of A, B, C, D players and uh, rounded it to one decimal. So, so this first team has a 4.6 handicap. And when you start uh, entering scores, the uh, cursor auto, auto advances, so you can very rapidly enter the scores. And uh, for the handicap, the uh, handicap adjustments would be made on a hole-by-hole uh, -hole basis, depending on the stroke difficulties of the holes and uh, the fractional 0.6 adjustment would be applied in this case in the fifth most difficult holes which is hole 12 in this case so you can see that on hole 12 they uh, got a net score of 3.4 so uh, the you move uh, between the teams with the right and left arrow keys so entering the right arrow key would advance you to the next team and be ready to start entering the scores for that team and again, you very rapidly enter the scores, press the right arrow key to move to the next team, enter the next team's scores, uh, and uh, continue. So it's a very rapid way to enter hole-by-hole -hole scores. And the last type of score entry we have is individual hole-by-hole -hole scoring. And when you are scoring uh, individual hole-by-hole, -hole, you're entering hole-by-hole -hole scores for each team member. And so each team member would then uh, get whatever handicap adjustment is applied for the players. In this case, we're just giving each player their full handicaps. And uh, again, uh, the screen is set up for a rapid score entry, so you can just start entering the scores. And the uh, up and down arrows move between the team players, so the down arrow will take you to the next team player, ready to enter the scores for that player. Down arrow for the third player, enter their scores. And fourth player enter their scores. When you're doing uh, individual hole-by-hole -hole scores for a team, uh, this uh, case happens to be a four-person team, you need to select uh, the number of scores to use from each player and the format to calculate the team scores. So the four-person team, we could select up to four gross balls to use and four net balls to use for the team score depending on what the format happens to be. Uh, there are many options with individual hole-by-hole -hole scoring, so uh, it would compute individual gross and net scores by just uh, entering uh, the number of gross balls and number of net balls to you. So if I enter two gross and two net, um, it's going to go out and select the two best net, or excuse me, two best gross scores and then two best net scores on each hole to compute the team score. You also have the option with the uh, individual hole-by-hole -hole scoring to set up a pro-am type of format where the gross score is being added to the net score uh, typically something like two gross one net so the application will then go out and select the two best gross scores and the one best net score for each team add them together for uh, a team score that's uh, the typical pro-am format uh, when you are doing a pro-am format you also have the option to eliminate uh, the and what elimination means is if a player's gross ball is chosen, then their net ball cannot be selected. Uh, that's what elimination will do. Turning off elimination, it will simply pick the, um, the best gross scores and the best net scores without eliminating anybody's score. So you have the option to do it either way, depending on what the format is. Typically, it is elimination, meaning that uh, if a player's gross or net score is selected, then the other score for that player, whether it's gross or net, cannot be used. And the... Uh, Application will, will always compute the uh, best possible score uh, depend, depending on whether you have elimination checked or not. 
Another type of scoring that can be uh, done is uh, high school format, and what uh, what the uh, high school uh, or collegiate uh, format is would be uh, selecting the best total scores. So, um, if I had said uh, four for the best scores to use in a uh, high school gross format, uh, the application will go out and compute the four total eighteen best total eighteen hole scores for the team, which might be a five or six person team. Uh, that's how the uh, high school or collegiate formats work. Uh, you also have the option to set formats by um, uh, individual hole-by-hole -hole score. So uh, I can actually go out and uh, set the first six holes to be one uh, ball selection, next six holes to be another ball selection, and so on. So that's how the individual hole-by-hole -hole score, score format options work. Viper also provides the um, option to handicap uh, after scoring, so uh, you can select either Peoria or Callaway handicapping uh, when players do not have handicaps. Uh, when selecting Peoria, uh, the user operator will select uh, a number of holes, blind holes. Players don't know what they are, um, usually six holes. Uh, the uh, You can set it to be however many holes that you want, however, and uh, you can set the holes that will be used. Uh, the application will then go out and compute the variance from par on those selected holes and compute a handicap based on that variance from par. And the six holes is usually selected because uh, uh, whatever the variance happens to be, if you just multiply that by three, then that would apply for an 18-hole event. But like I said, you can select any number of holes and the application will determine what the multiplier needs to be to compute the 18-hole handicap. You can also use Callaway scoring, which basically just uses a table uh, based on whatever the gross score the team or individuals shoot, and it will then go to that table, look up that score, and determine how much to adjust the gross score to compute the net score. And the uh, Callaway tables in the Viper scoring system uh, uses a weighted uh, holes to use average based on the par for the course. In other words, a, a par 72 course uh, would use a certain uh, adjustment, uh, typical Callaway adjustment for 70, par 72 course, but if your course is a par 58, then a different set of uh, ta different table would be used to adjust for that par. So th all of that will happen automatically based on the par for the course that's being used for the Callaway event. So with a, just a ball selection of two gross and two net being used uh, as you enter scores for the event, uh, the team score will be calculated as the scores are being entered. And, and uh, so you can see in the team score below that the scores are changing as you enter the second set of scores because we've told it to use two gross and two net. And as you enter the third person scores, then they will change only if the third person score improves the team score. So it's always looking for the lowest possible combination of the two gross and two net in this instance to compute the team score. Viper also supports um, point conversion games for uh, Chicago Point Quota or Stableford. Standard Stableford is... Uh, you know, a, a par is worth two points, a birdie is worth four points, and so on. Uh, Chicago point quota is the same thing, although uh, a quota is established for each team based on the team or individual handicaps, and you need to make your quota before you get to zero, and then anything beyond that, you could be plus one, plus two, or whatever the your point total uh, is calculated to be. And the point values uh, can be found from the help program defaults menu uh, and the scoring defaults. So whatever these point values are will be how the Chicago and um, standard stable for points will be calculated. Uh, the Peoria handicap method previously mentioned also uses an adjustment of a uh, percentage of, of whatever the handicap is computed to be. You can set uh, to use only a percent of that handicap. Typically it's 93 percent but you can set that percentage to be anything that you want. So with Stableford scoring, point scoring selected, you can see as scores are being entered, the gross points and net points are being computed for the individual. And as we continue to enter scores and move to the next player and enter scores, 
uh, because this is too gross and too net, then you can see that the team points are being calculated. Again, the application is going out and selecting the best possible scores um, for each player. Or the best scores for the team. Once you have scored all of the teams, you can just save scores and close. And go to the reports menu uh, where you can select scores report and you'll have the option to print uh, gross only, net only, or both gross and net score scores, or whole by whole scores, gross or net. Uh, we'll select both gross and net scores and uh, choose how to sort. You want to sort the scores by gross, by net, or by team. We'll select by gross, and you'll see that we'll get a gross scores report with both the gross and net scores and the places for both gross and net. And in this case, we've got uh, ties, so you do have the option uh, on these uh, scores screen or from the score entry screen to select tiebreaker options. So if we select USGA standard, which will look at the last nine, last six, last three holes, last hole scored, uh, and run the scores report again, you'll see that uh, it has broken the ties for the three-way tie that we had at uh, 75. When you are scoring an event, Viper also supports setting up a purse for the event for a payoff structure, uh, and then you can run payoff reports. So back on the score entry screen, there's a purse setup button. When you go to the purse setup, you can go in and enter any kind of a purse payout amount that you want to enter for the event. And you have the option of paying uh, both gross or net or gross only or however you want to set the purse up. In this case, we're just going to set this up for a gross payout of uh, for three places, uh, paying 275 and $25. Like I said, that the, you could uh, go build a net purse structure. Or you can set up a purse pretty much any way that you want. Um, if the event is a flighted event, you will, will get an option to set the payoff structure for each flight, either paying all flights the same or set e each flight up to be paid independently. All of those options will appear uh, when the event has more than one flight. So we've set this simple purse structure up. We're going to save that and close it. Or we can go back to the reports menu, and now payoff report will appear in the list, in the reports list, since we have set up a uh, purse. So running the payoff report will then give you uh, the winners of the event. These are the first place winners, and it will show the individual amounts to be paid uh, to each winning player. And this concludes the scoring and purse management video trainer. Thanks for watching.